An important element in uh, being able to make uh, homemade machines like CNC mills and so on is that you are able to do uh, elementary soldering so you can solder a wire to a wire or a wire to a connector and, and uh, I just want to show uh, how I'm doing it and the tools that I'm using for, for doing it uh, and uh, maybe that can be helpful, helpful for someone. Of course the first and most critical uh, piece is to have a solder iron and here I have one which is a 24 volt uh, version with a thermostat built in. It's a, I would say mid end uh, and I would not recommend you to go for low end uh, solder iron because uh, then uh, it's probably not uh, as easy uh, as when I'm doing it uh, in this video. Then of course you need the tin uh, to be able to do the soldering. Um, <clears throat> and then basic uh, tools for holding the piece. Here's a, a Stanley uh, clamp and one of these uh, typical Chinese one with an alligator. Uh, uh, on it so you can hold the wire there wire cutter and then wire stripper and I have two here this is the classical one where you have uh, the uh, option for different sizes here uh, in, the, in the diameter and then there's a little more advanced one here uh, where you essentially just uh, can cut any size it's a spring uh, control so you just uh, use it and then it will actually take care of both uh, thin and thick uh, wires. Then if you are going to um, put uh, two wires together you would often uh, need some heat uh, shrink tubing uh, to uh, secure that you have uh, the different uh, soldered uh, ends separated and to do uh, the heat shrinking you will need to have some kind of a heat source. This is a, a hot air gun that uh, has a little piece in the, in the front that will bend the airstream so that it actually uh, makes a, a fairly nice uh, shrinking uh, all the way around. Then uh, the uh, last thing you may need once in a while is something uh, to desolder. And this is a, a, a pump, uh, so this is a spring-loaded pump, you put it down here and then when you have the solder iron in one hand and this one in the other, you will melt the solder and then uh, you uh, simply sock it off and in that way you can uh, remove solder on like a printed circuit boards and stuff like that. So that was the, uh, all for the tooling, uh, then the first thing I will be doing is uh, Something that which is a classical thing when we when we make a CNC machine is uh, we have a, a stepper motor with maybe uh, 20 centimeters of wire and we uh, need to connect that to this uh, long wire is also four leads uh, and um, we of course need to do that because maybe there's one meter or two meters uh, from where the stepper is sitting and uh, through the cable chains and all the way to the controller box. So that's the first one and I will be doing that uh, together uh, with the heat uh, shrink tubing. Yeah, okay, so first I will take off the insulation here. I take a fairly uh, uh, long piece because I also need to be able to put the uh, heat uh, tubing inside here. So I'll do that, take it off. And we have the four leads here, and we will go like this. And you can see this is a very neat device. So we have the four there, uh, just for demonstration. This is this will also work. It's just a little more elaborate. It should also work. It doesn't really work. Yeah. One of these, if you don't press too much, like that. But there's no doubt that having a, a nice uh, piece, like this one, makes it a lot easier.
Okay, so uh, that was it. Then we will essentially uh, tin all the ends. Uh, I'll just twist it a little, come with the solder iron, clean it on the kitchen towel, okay, kitchen paper. twist them a little so that you get all the uh, internal wires <coughs> gathered so now those four are tinned then the next set is uh, the um, the other wire and these fumes are not directly healthy I think uh, so if you do a lot of this you may want to uh, secure some kind of insulation okay so that was the four uh, ends and now I will put on uh, a, a little piece of the heat sh shrink tubing on each of the wires here You only need like maybe one and a half centimeter, so I'll cut it. Like this, okay. And then you may want to also add a bigger one so that you have all the four and then this one could then cover the whole uh, the whole setup and I'll actually put that on the other wire here so I have it over here and then I'm ready to uh, put together the different uh, wires and I think we'll just get a little help from this one take one at a time take the green here and now you don't need to use any more uh, tin uh, to make a good soldering here. Uh, if you have enough, t uh, you should have enough tin on these in order to simply melt them together. And when do I have a good uh, soldering? Is when it's nice and shiny. If it's not nice and shiny, uh, it's basically called it's a cold one and. Uh, you have to uh, redo it and sometimes you have to redo it with new uh, adding new tin to it but you can see this little helper is actually quite a nice thing to have So they are ready now, and then I will essentially just move the um, heat shrink tubing back and start to heat shrink.
Yeah, so that was the end of this. Of course, uh, this piece of heat shrink tubing ideally had been a little longer, so it would have been like one centimeter longer, but uh, essentially this is how we do it. Uh, and then uh, next will be to, uh, to put a connector, and I have one of these, uh, uh, I think they call them airplane, I don't know, aviation connectors, but they're pretty good. Uh, this is a 4 one which is optimal for uh, the uh, stepper motor. They come in, I think, from two all the way up to seven or eight uh, connectors. And of course, the more connectors, the more crowded, but uh, it's not uh, anywhere different of what you do. Yeah, so uh, the first thing is, of course, to disassemble the connector. And uh, remember to uh, put the uh, the uh, house on the wire uh, before you start. This is a classical one to forget and uh, you will hate yourself when you get to it. And then we need to uh, take the insulation off and uh, enough so that you can uh, make uh, the four connectors but uh, not a lot more than necessary. I think for this one I'll just take one and a half centimeter like that and then again we will essentially repeat ourselves, take off this, and here you only need to take off quite a little, 3 or 4 millimeters is enough to do uh, this, whereas when you connect this, the wires maybe you want maybe 8 millimeters. And when you take off so little, uh, the um, there's not a lot reason to uh, twist the wires because they actually come out quite nicely when they're so short. So then we will tin uh, each of them. Like that. And then I will mount uh, the uh, Connector. And I'll use this little Stanley one for that. And then essentially it's the same story. We will now tin the uh, different um, connectors on the connector. Yeah, so next is uh, we will need to tin each of these four uh, places where we need to solder the uh, wires to. So heat up a little bit, give a little tin, and you can see now it's covered. Different wires, and now I'll just do it in an arbitrary uh, sequence, of course, when we do it in reality. This has to be right. Uh, in order for the stepper to go the right way around. Enough so we can see it. I think it's quite good. Just go a little closer. So this is the end result. Whoops. Yeah. So this is the end result uh, and how it should look. And then of course uh, now it's time to uh, reassemble the uh, thing, and you're all done.